what is up guys Julian's way here and I want to talk about the guys that are looking show up just about almost show ready for the Olympia guys come going into the Olympia from the 212 I'll start with a 212 with George of course I was bringing in that um, clean Crips conditioning and uh, you know he's he's looking really good I mean this is just recent and then there's like a post that he made uh, a few days ago I think about four weeks out and he's looking damn impressive all right so I think he's gonna really uh, make a splash and make a mark in the 212 category this year here I think he's gonna make his name I'm not saying he's gonna win but it is possible so let's see what happens also there's the the reigning champion now looking good as well and uh yeah definitely and also the guy that won two shows back to back in the 212 is upcoming guy here this angel call call nero call the nero guy i think it was the the spain uh euro pro and uh the british grand prix just recently two shows back to back that reminds me of james hollingshead he would have been uh, a great guy to be there up in the open as well so yes this is uh three three decent guys that uh with conditioning in the 212 and let's talk about classic yup starting with this guy right here wesley Fizzers. golden era so yeah this guy right here look at this guy's condition look at the chest look at the lines his dead face everything is there he looks amazing probably he looks even maybe more peeled than he's just as about where Brian is before or about right now and he looks even more peeled and more lean than Chris Bumstead yeah so this is what Chris looks like as of recently and this isn't bad and then there's uh, another video of him training and then he posted this one lately on Instagram and this here he's looking really really lean so yeah uh, it's hard to say who's more lean but I still think that Brian is more conditioned than all all the classic guys I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm not in a sense Brian is really dialing in and he usually brings in that condition and he tried to get things done early and if you've been following him or if you know how he tries to get ahead of the game so that he could just kind of like what can i say cruise in or take his time to get in on that day or that week the peak week but brian really pushes it early very early and i think he's even gone past that this year round and i guess he's getting leaner as i make this video and there are more guys but i'm not gonna call out everybody just the popular guys so open you know there are guys like hunter labrada and he looks good he looks good he's he's probably gonna make a statement as a, a guy to his first olympia and also not forgetting antoine you, you know he's another comeback kid so he looks he looks amazing as well all right these guys are I'm excited to see what they look like on stage and the big roly we know how he looks he's all fast killer and so on so definitely he might be bringing in but you know he kind of reminds me a little bit of rami with with a size game and then they look all good and on competition day it's a whole different thing so the champ the champ the champ the reigning mr olympia brandon curry and um this here was the 11th the 18th of november 2020 he looks he looks peeled he looks damn good but yet to see what he's gonna bring and balance out that that size game and that conditioning and i guess hey that waist so moving on to you know who the wolf the wolf the wolf the wolf the guy that needs the visa always has complication and brings in probably the best conditioning ever i would say he had the best conditioning last year on the stage and i think he's going to do some damage this year again and he's going to even maybe beat that or even bring in back that same conditioning it's going to be hell up there cannot wait to see what he's going to look like providing that he gets that visa i really hope he gets it and then there's this guy here now i am a fan of big rami a huge fan and i really hope he do some damage this year and 
bring in his best package actually whether he does damage or not but i think it's a little bit too hype with him and his conditioning on show day same thing something goes wrong something with coach and afterwards he had this issue that issue and but i really hope he dial in keeps that conditioning and not worry about the size game he has a lot of size to play around with not saying to take brandon or phil for uh you know granted those guys do have size and conditioning as well especially phil is known for his wrong muscle bellies and his size speaking of which we did not see much update from him so far and i guess he's going full dorian you know there has to be like a villain and a kind of hero so like he's more like still playing that villain role right now he's like in the dark side and brandon is showing a lot of updates and so on so that's it guys i'm gonna wrap the video up thanks for watching if you made it this far please give the video a thumbs up like share and subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell button for notifications until my next video peace and take care stay safe